we've been working with rational functions and here we have a contextual situation where we, we will minimize the surface area of a box. United Parcel Service has contracted you to design a closed box with a square base that has a volume of 10,000 cubic inches. And so before we go further, let's remember the volume of a rectangular prism or any um, straight prism is the area of the base times the height. And so the area of this square base is x squared times the height of y. I can substitute in my 10,000 for my volume. And this is an equation that came directly from the context of the problem. Well, I'm thinking that later on I will probably need to rewrite y in terms of x. So I'm going to divide both sides by x squared. And I'll get an expression for y, 10,000 over x squared and that might become useful later on. So now let's look at the prompts of this question. There are four questions within this. First one is to express the surface area s of the box as a function of x. Next one is using a graphing utility to graph that function found in part a. And then we have to answer questions based on the graph. So we'll start with question a expressing the surface area of the box as a function of x. Well, you know surface area is the sum of the area of the faces. We have six faces on this box. The bottom and the top are congruent, right? So the area of those respectively are x squared and x squared. And then we have four rectangles that form the walls of the box. The area of those rectangles is xy. So my formula is 2x squared plus 4xy. But the directions say to express the surface area as a function of x. This is where that expression that we had in the previous slide comes in handy. We will substitute this in place of y. And now we can simplify this expression and we get our surface area, s of x equals 2x squared plus 40,000 over x. You can see this is a rational function because we have x in the denominator. So part b is to graph this function that we just found in part a. And I'll graph that using an online graphing utility like Desmos. But now I'm thinking about the context of the problem, x stands for the side length, so we can't really have negative side length in this context. So now let's take a look again, but you, focusing more on quadrant one. And here is the function. So we've graphed the function. Now part C and D, we need to interpret the graph. So part C, what is the minimum amount of cardboard that can be used to construct the box? Well. One of the nice features about graphing calculators is whenever there's an interesting point in the graph, such as an intercept or, in this case, a minimum value, you can just hover and grab the coordinates of that point. So before I answer the question, I have to know which of these coordinates, x or y, can answer the question. Well, what was x measuring? That was the side length of the box, right, in units? The second coordinate, which is what's being measured, is the surface area of the box in square units. So the question, what is the minimum amount of cardboard? That's going to be my second coordinate, right, in my ordered pair. 2,784.95 square units of cardboard is the smallest amount of cardboard I can use to make a box with 10,000 cubic units in volume. Now part D, what are the dimensions of the box that minimize the surface area? Well, the dimensions of the box, I have definitely my x coordinate, my x times x, but this box is x by x by, by y, right? Well, I know my x is 21 point, we can round it to 5, by 21.5 
but that expression that we had for y comes in handy. So I can just take a calculator and divide 10,000 by my x coordinates squared. So what's interesting about this problem is the dimensions of the box that minimize the surface area are 21.5 by 21.5 by 21.5. That tells you that the box that would be designed should be a cube. And the reason why UPS would be interested in this kind of a box would be that they want to pack a lot of boxes in their truck, get as most the most amount of volume in there as they can without using a lot of cardboard because that's where the cost comes into factor, right? 